Sarah, you've got to do, you got to try a lot harder if you think you're going to come in here and dummy mommy me, okay? Hello everyone, Golden Nova here, the lore laureate, the explaining expert coming at you live from the orbital platform and for today's blindfold banless challenge for the, the third time i think i think this is actually becoming a recurring segment we've got sarah hyde sarah yeah. how you doing today yeah uh i'm doing great i'm always happy when i see a new ban list because i see that tweet go up on konami's twitter feed and i'm like oh boy i am going to utterly break a boy's mind today hmm. and that makes it a good day all right well uh, the boy. I I am the boy, the boy, and I uh I'm hopefully not because that's the thing, right? We've done this three times. I've done this several times, but I've never lost. I've always gotten a positive record the entire time. So I think you've been failing in your mission, which means you haven't really. Oh no 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 no! no. You, you have to understand. I've been there in the lab. I've been concocting with the good denizens, my minions in your Twitch chat. We have been concocting the ultimate fake ban list and i think this latest iteration is something to behold you're gonna have your work cut out for you here you better have been improving just as much as we are because if you've been slacking we will destroy you all right well um i will be explaining the rules of the blindfold ban list uh -huh, challenge uh -huh. i have not seen anything about this list ever since it came out i have removed myself from the internet i have not seen a single gosh darn thing a list when not a list a form went out to the followers on all the social media platforms and all of you got to submit your fake changes and all those fake changes have been sprinkled into the real list uh, as put together by Sarah. She's gonna run through the entire list, and at each point, I'm gonna guess if that is a real change or a fake change. If I can figure out if that is a real or a fake change, if I can figure out the truth of the matter, true or false, I get a point. If I am wrong for any reason, I do not get a point. Uh, we're looking to get a 50% win rate over here, uh, and I think that about does it. So, Sarah, if you could, um... Begin us on the forbidden part of the list. I'm ready to absolutely destroy this challenge once again. All right, let's um, let's get straight over to the full Biden part of the list. Oh my god! Shoutouts to uh, Joe Full Biden, the creator of this list. Forbidden. Bestial Magnumut. Magnumut. Okay, so if I remember correctly, tears weren't the That's... only things that got a huge. Uh, hit in the OCG. There's also a few bestials that also got hit with the hammer uh, for good reason. Okay, I'm just gonna say right now in the OCG, uh, they didn't. They hit um, tear. They also hit hit sprite by uh, banning toad and putting jet to one. And I think they put Fenrir to one. The Castiera. I could be wrong there. But did they not hit any bestials? I don't remember what best deals they hit, if any. Wow, okay. Well, Magnumut does seem like the best one out of them, right? Like, it is the best one. Not only does it do all the DD well, Crow stuff. It's the it best also, one generically. Yeah, it replaces itself with another, potentially another beast deal, but you could also pick any dragon in the game, just tutor that out. Yeah, um, you know, like, I don't know, full and about this, hypothetically. Yeah, uh, yeah, like, hypothetically, if you wanted to super polymerization your opponent's monsters, you now have a You could get Trihorn Dragon! That. Yeah, folks! That's the biggest tech pick in the world. Um, His 2850 attack. But forbidding cards like that that just came out seems like it's too quick. Um, my understanding through the history is that they've been very reticent to do that powerful hits that soon after release. That's that's um, true. I this... mean, just think how long Perform H Flush Fire lasted. Yeah, in a, an emergency list that was an exception that proved the rule, Sarah. Come on. Um, I am going to say that I think that the forbidding of Magnamut, it's too soon for that. So I think that is a, uh, that's one that people are trying to trip me up on specifically. So I think that is a fake change. All right. All right. There's like some more main deck stuff to go to, but uh, I'm going to do this a little out of order. We're going to go to some uh, forbidden extra deck cards. Okay. Sounds good. You know, a lot of powerful extra deck cards that are currently... Um, as of the previous list, still legal, right? So let's start off with one. A Link Monster. Newly Forbidden. Artifact Dagda. Dagda! Okay, so they they haven't been hitting Scythe stuff 
for a while now, even though it's been kind of... Like, it was really bad, and then it just hasn't been necessary because of all the Ishizu cards. I, I'm saying this is a false change because I kind of just wish that it was Scythe that was banned, so I'm just going to say that's also a fake change. Oh, interesting. Uh, anyway, Artifact Scythe is also banned. All right, yeah, see, okay, so... So this is why you did... Oh, okay, all right, okay. I'm seeing through your game plan now. That's a real change. Scythe sucks ass. And even if it's not true, I want it to be banned. Get it out of here, Scythe. Uh, that's all a real right, change. All right, all right. All right. Well, um, I just gave you some A cards. A couple of cards that begin with A. And uh, we also did a card that began with B in Bestial Magnum. What if we did a second card that began with B to really just, uh, you know, bounce it up a little bit? b b b b b b b b statue of the storm winds. I was- that was this close? <laughs> if you were gonna say Baguska, I was about to- I was about to baby rage. Um, Could you imagine? <laughs> uh, okay. The thing is, I can't imagine. So, Bear Statue of the Storm Winds, Abandoned Master Duel, one of the- uh, best decisions they've ever made, uh, and will continue to be the best decision until Actually they finally... Actually a cringe decision. Uh, shut up. Uh, it'll be the best decision they've made until they finally decide to ban Max C. Um... They will never do that. Why now, though? Um, this could be in line with a bunch of preemptive hits. Uh, if they're hitting Scythe now because, uh, other cards are being brought low, Flu is now in a very good position and Stormwinds has been one of the most annoying cards. Um, I don't know if I've fallen for this one previously though. If someone has submitted this and I'm I... I'm sure someone suggested it. Cause yeah. like the, it's been hit in Mastodal for a bit. Um, I'm gonna go with my heart on this one though. I just hate Stormwinds. It's not fun. It's not cool. Um, get it out of here. I'm gonna say that's a real change. <laughs> All right, so, um... Don't you laugh! Chat. It's not... No, stop it! So, um... I actually have a little story about this about this next card. Ooh, story time. Okay, what's up? Um, one of my first, like, favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards way back when I was a wee bab getting into the game, um... There was some... There was actually a place that, uh, had, like, some Yu-Gi-Oh cards for sale, but they were, like, OCG packs, like, they're in Japanese. Or yeah. maybe Korean? I couldn't tell. And I pulled, like, a really sick-looking rarity version of the card Gemini Elf. And uh, that's just really interesting because uh, Sprite Elf is forbidden. See, they're both elves. I don't know if you got that. Sprite Elf. Uh, well, thank you. I do appreciate it that you uh, lined that up for me. Uh, the fact that you have absolutely zero faith in my ability to draw lines between cards. <laughs> very oh, Heronix with Heronix. Heronix here in chat clearly understands what I'm going for. Yes, they are also banning Gemini Spark. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Gemini Spark is no. Okay. Um. God, I hate Gemini Spark with a fiery passion. Uh, elf, though, Elf is too far. Um, Sprite is good, but without the fact, without, well, because the thing is, is that they didn't ban Toad in the TCG. They banned Ronin Toad. They banned um, it in Duel. But all of the, thank God, thank God. I feel like forbidding Elf outright is just a really big overcorrection uh, for a card that is at best a neat setup tool. So, I don't think that's the case. I think banning Sprite Elf is false. Alright, interesting, interesting. How do you feel about the fact that I have one more forbidden monster for you? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. And also terrible at the same time. Mm, mm, mm. Um, shit. I actually have a problem here. Um, so, like, I packed a drink for this stream. Because, you know, I like to take a sip every once in a while. But Gotta there's a slight hydrated, problem. Yeah. I, I, I packed a drink, but I didn't pack, like, a snack, right? Mm -hmm. So, um... I'm not thinking about all the various snacks I could have. Like, I could get, like, a pack of... No, Chris would be too loud. What I can't is this, do that. What is the fucking punchline for this? Uh, okay, let me think about this. Uh, obviously, it can't be anything you have to cook, because that would take too long. Yeah, too long, too long. Ooh, I've got it, I've got it. A nice little chocolate bar, like a Dairy Milk, or, um... Or a Galaxy Ripple, or... A Kit Kat! Tier Elements Kit Kalos has been banned! <laughs> Sarah, have I ever told you that I I absolutely love the fact that you will torture a joke into the ground? Uh, the secret to comedy is, um, if you make the setup to a joke long enough, people will invest themselves so much that they will convince themselves the punchline was funny. Exactly, exactly. And I'm one of those people. 
Um, yeah, so Kit Kalos was uh, one of the most interesting bands out of the OCG because it is a specifically named material for Rule Kalos. Uh, people found a way around that, though, and it was still very Yo, effective. Yo, special summon, uh, special summon Kashira Fenrir, add tier elements Kashira, uh, of Lake here, it's Kashira and Kashira Fenrir for Mech Phantom East Drake Sack, make two tokens, use the tokens to make Cherubini, dump King of the Swamp, let's go, baby! Yeah, that was the play line. I did that all in one breath. Um, so, that feels to me like you could ban Kit Kalos here. And that just means they would just do the same thing over here, too. Um, that would also imply, though, that the TCG is okay with banning something like that. And the TCG is very weird when it comes to banning its higher power level cards, especially soon after its release. As strange as it would be for the TCG to fall in line with this, I think I got to agree that this is a real change. It just does so much and honestly i'm gonna be so happy i never have to hear mill eight ever again so i'm gonna go along with saying that we are in line with the ocg now and that is a real change i don't want to live on this planet anymore they have banned primeval planet pelerina i thought you said we were done with the forbidding no the forbidden monsters okay fair enough um uh god you know what as long as we're banning kick close i'll just go ahead and agree with the uh the Primal Planet poopy pants. Um, because That's yeah, the fucking card Captain Ultra Pants character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Primal I'm Planet Professor Poopy Pants. Let's go. Yeah, uh, yeah. Ch children's literature. Let's go. Kids can read. Apparently. Um, I mean, if they can read fucking Endymion, the Mighty Master of Magic, they can read a book. <laughs> then they can make a <laughs> book report. Um, yeah, uh, I'm also okay with this being banned. Um. I mm -hmm. like field spells that search their cards. I think it's, like, not only from a mechanical standpoint, it helps raise your consistency. It's also just good flavor, I think. If okay, but what if they had a Link it, one that searched it? If they have a Link one that searches it, it's even better. I love, I oh, love shit like actually, that. Could you imagine if Tailament's got a Funko Pop? D they're gonna have it. I swear to God it's gonna happen. I guess maybe not now since it's banned, but... Fucking No, imagine. no, they have a second field spell now, so they'll just make it search that instead. Um, Slightly less primeval planet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, get this field spell out of here. They made a new field spell just so they could ban the first one. <laughs> uh, it makes sense. Let's go ahead and uh, that's a real change. All right, all right. So we are now done with the forbidden spell cards. Oh my god. And there are no forbidden trap cards. Let's move on. To the okay. Limits. All right. Cool. All right. So limited time. Let's go. Let's go. So we're going to start off, uh, yeah, we'll start off at the top with this one. Agido, the Ancient Sentinel, Limited. Mm, okay, so the things when it comes to the Ishizu cards is that two of them do the milling, two of them do the shuffling, and I always forget uh, which done what, what does Agido, which. Agido is the miller that has a special summon from Graveyard Effect. Got it. Does this count as a hot take? I don't know. I think the shufflers are not as powerful as the millers. The shufflers suck to deal with all the time but i would rather have them in the game as opposed to someone that's also going to make all milling effects oh. just immediately work and for context the ocg solution was to limit one of the shufflers and one of the millers yeah uh agito being limited though i i'm okay with this no 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 agito the ancient sentinel got limited agito is still a three right right agito the ancient sentinel Please Limited remember <laughs> to correctly write out your deck lists, everybody. Everyone, uh, let me tell you about a little card called Pithing Needle, uh, and how Borborygmos is the best guild master in all of Magic the Gathering. Whatever, Agito the Ancient Sentinel. It's limited, that's fine, I'm okay with this. Uh, that's true. <laughs> I, again, you have a very exploitable system of logic for how you pick these out. It hasn't failed me yet. Hmm, okay. Well, how do you feel about Mudora, the Sword Oracle, to one? Okay, now that one, that's the fake one, because that's the one that's, like, it searches the other ones, but you would just limit the other ones. Like, you wouldn't limit the searcher, you just limit all the good ones. Uh, no, no, this isn't the searcher, this is the one that gets you Gravekeeper's Trap, which no one is playing anyway, so no, that's a fake one. Kelbeck the Ancient Vanguard to one! 
Okay, Kelbeck is the the bouncy bouncy. Boot. It is the other Miller. Is the 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 cat with like little hands like ah, and I have like webs behind me for some reason. Yeah, Kel Kelbeck limited. Uh, true. Let's go ahead and go with that. Keldo the possessed statue to one. Uh, I guess okay, I should that be is... very specific about my naming. If you're gonna be specific, I was Actually, okay let me with just understanding let me fucking what look up what the original. Let me fucking look up what the original Keldo does. Yo, hear me out. All right, all right. When this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard as a result of battle, select two cards from your opponent's graveyard. Add them to your opponent's deck, and the deck is then shuffled. Ooh! It's broken. It's an anti telement card. <laughs> so good. Uh, as for the obviously inferior retrained Keldo, uh, yeah, yeah, that's another. Uh, that's another fakey fake. Uh, Sprite Blue. I don't know. Maybe it's the fact that we've been in a Tier Shizu format for so long, but hitting Sprite stuff just feels like too much. And I think Sprites are cool. I think um, Chalaman is cool. Yeah, but you're wrong about it. Uh, I don't know. I think Blue is just going a, a bridge too far. Uh, I like the starter and jet hits in the OCG because that really does mm -hmm. stop the heinous ability. Because then Jet does turn into like a reverse searcher, whereas Blue can turn into Jet. Like there's a line as opposed to it being a recursive like loop where you can go both ways on that one. Um, and I think those engines are bad for the game because every card then turns into every other card. Blue mm -hmm. is just your standard, like, getting to your other monsters card while giving you material that we see in every Xyz deck that exists. So I think blue, being as it is, is fine. So I think uh, the limit is fake. All right, so you think Sprite Blue is a fake hit because it's a hit you personally don't like and that makes it fake, understood? I literally just spent two minutes talking about the logistical reasons why it's fine. So, you know, we've, we've gone through some Tailment hits, right? Yeah. And uh, the Tailments are Marmates. Yeah. Marmates are located in the water. Arguable, but yeah. How would you get across the water, Nova? Uh, with a boat. Okay. What methods are there for propelling a boat through the water? Uh, well, you have oars. You can just push the water around you. Uh, there you, you go! That's it! That's it! Oars! Or cast Harp Horror! I've still got it, baby. <laughs> I fucking killed him, chat. He's dead. <laughs> Real change. Orcus hasn't done anything in a while, and I think it's about time they got some of their toys back, so let's bring it back to one. Yeah, I mean, like, it hasn't really been doing much in the OCG, right? So, this is another card that, um, Tailaments really does make me think about a lot. Uh-huh. Actually, another set of cards. Because, you know, um, what's one of the biggest complaints about Tear? Uh, gosh, where do I begin? Um, has everything. Yeah, but, uh, how would you describe the format Tears in? Zero. Hmm, hmm. That's interesting. Lost a Dragon Roller of Infanos. What did that have to do with anything? They were- okay, they weren't actually tier zero, but, like, people talk about them like that. Oh, one. okay, okay, alright. Um, okay, so Blaster coming back. So we've had Tempest around for a while. Tempest hasn't been doing anything. Uh, Tempest was, like, I think an extender and Dragon Link at some point, and that's about it. Yeah, so it hasn't been doing anything. I think Dinner, that blaster. if you put all the dragon rulers back to three, there would be a problem. Uh, regardless of how far the format has gone, uh, more ways to use up resources to get free cards, uh, especially in a more link-focused environment, uh, is bad for the game. Having the famously good target. fire attribute. Well, it would... It was about all of them together. Come on, think more. Be more inclusive about your attributes, Sarah. No. I know you're a big Earth fiend. You don't want to include anything but Earths in your deck. But I'm actually on. an Earth fairy. Chat, uh, 
destroy Sarah, please, right now. Just, just immediately uh, eject her from the airlock. But having Tidal... I don't think having Tempest and Blaster together would be a huge problem. Any deck that would want to use both of them... Uh, would, it would have to be something like Dragon Link that can use all the Dragon stuff. It would be uh, Dragon Link specifically, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I am very glad that Dragon Link uh, hasn't been relevant in a long time. That deck can die in a fire. Uh, pile decks are one of the worst things that happened to Yu-Gi-Oh!, um, let's go ahead and say, though, that a single blaster wouldn't hurt, and I would like to see them, um, quarantining more dragon rulers off the list. So, let's bring back blaster, uh, that is a real change. Redox. Dragon uh, ruler of boulders. Okay, so it appears... That we are running the gamut on multiple dragon rulers here. Okay, so I... Uh, okay, so my main reason for bringing Blaster back is that they're quarantining them off the list. But if if this is a Redox followed by a title, then we have an issue here. Because I don't think they're going to un... They're going to limit all the remaining dragon rulers all at once. That seems too excessive for them. So I'm going to have to say fake uh, purely because I've already said yes to Blaster. It's it's kind of interesting, right? Because yeah. like, um, Dragon Ruler is actually quite similar to uh, T Elements in a lot of ways. Because like, it was such an oppressive deck, but like, you know, in retrospect, people really do look onto the mirror as like really skillful and like a a, a, f a mirror where like the best player almost always wins, right? Uh huh. And that, like, theoretically, that means that, like, if two players with equal skill played a full power Dragon Roller Mirror, right, it would result in a tie every single time. Like a tie that'd dull? Be, that'd be kind of dull. Mm hmm Tie dull. Dragon Roller of Waterfalls. It's a fucking one. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah, I get it! I get it! It's also fake. It's also fake. <laughs> Tail Limit Shiren. To one? No, to five. Yes, to one. Ooh, the attitude. Ooh. <laughs> Scary. No, I'm just going to call that fake and move on. I don't have the power to deal with this one anymore. Molly. Uh, sure. If that can be limited, that's fine. Avenous nuts in your mouth. Um, not on stream, but we can talk about that later. But uh, also, Terrellman's Avenous to one. Uh, yeah, that'll also be, um, also be one. I'm fine with that. And Rhino Hot to one. Now we're talking about three cards getting limited. Damn it. Uh, four. Well, I said the first one was fake. The other two, oh, I think. Oh, okay, I see what you, I, so I see what you mean. Uh, All right, man, that's fair. Rhino being limited to. Uh, sure, why not? It was a. You know what? I It was a slaughter list in the OCG. Maybe it'll be the same thing here. Maybe we're also limiting Rhino Heart, so heck it. Um. Also to one, mm, I'll, I'll mm. say that one's true too. Yeah, uh, I think a lot of people reacted really positively to that initial, like, well, actually, you know, it was like over two lists functionally that really, like, hit in. It's still the best deck in OCG, but I still feel like a lot of people looked at those lists and were like, this is a really good list. I'm actually very happy with this list. You could actually say that this list is a work of art, or, as some people may put it, a masterpiece. True Draco Slaying game to one. Alright, um, so this makes me sad because I think, uh, I think y'all got me on this one last time. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let that happen again. That's a, uh, unfortunately a fake change, even though I think it's more than enough time for Luster Pendulum's Big Daddy form to come back. Um... But yeah, no, that's a that's a fake one that you're all trying to goose me on. So yeah, you, you you're like obviously you need to be kind of like kind of a little bit toxic, especially with yourself because you're online so often. Yeah. And as a consequence of that, you don't touch grass that often, which is a real shame because that grass looks greener and it's at one. Um. No, I'm I'm calling that as a fake change as well. Um, it's su it's a super unhealthy card. I just don't think there's any world where we can bring grass back. 
Uh, we have mm, too mm. many cards. Even before tier, like you had to ban it before tier limits, and even though you're hitting them now, mm, there's still mm, too many decks that would love to have it. So bringing grass back mm. seems like a huge mistake. So I'm gonna have to call that a fake change. Oh, that's interesting. A lot of people would think that like it was a really light punishment them losing that grass of Schooner, right? Mm -hmm. But I disagree. I actually think that punishment was rather heavy. Storm. Um, also, fake change. Uh, Heavy Storm is a silly card, and if they were going to bring it back, they should have really brought it back before Feather Duster, so why the hell? Ancient Fairy Dragon. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say yes, because of... Not just because it was brought back in the OCG, but because it was brought back with an errata, uh, and they normally don't gate off erratas like that between territories. Normally they get that updated pretty quickly mm, so at mm. the very at the very least they'll update the card database with that because they it did get an errata that's true yeah so i you think know? i think that's a real change yeah and like it getting an errata is really interesting because rada is the name of a yuki tube okay rank 10 Oh, you know yeah the one the everyone fun, the keeps ha -ha comparing funny, me to yeah the ha, -ha funny trains man uh -huh. and uh i think that's really interesting because like uh yuki tubers are actually often used as inspiration for card names often. as well as card mechanics uh -huh. and uh, i just think that's really interesting because i feel like one of a lot of people's favorite yugi tubers is seamorg bird of perfection bird of not not of sovereignty uh uh let me let me double check reading this um yeah. i i am reading bird of perfection Two one. Wait, but sovereign is it? Is the link sovereign or is the link perfection? What? What? I'll be honest. I've never read a Seymour card in my life. So let, let's look this up. Let's look this up together. Yeah, yeah. Let me take a look at it myself. Here, let me get my uh, eyes on that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll let you know. I do know perfection. Perfection's a funny one. Okay, so so we're on the same page here. Is this the Link 3 with all the downward pointing arrows that summons based on how many empty spell and trap card zones there are? I don't know, just look it up. <sighs> just read it. Wow, cool. You're gonna have to use your memory, my guy. Alright, well, considering there's no other extra deck Cymorg card in existence, I have to... I have to assume that we're talking about the Link monster. Um, but I am just going to say that's fake because that card uh, should never have been printed in the first place. Though, I guess you uh, are getting rid of Storm Winds. That's fair enough. And that was oh. the biggest... Th I guess you could get Apex Avian, but Apex Avian is way less annoying to deal with than... Maybe we can bring Sovereign Cymorg back. Yeah, you know what? Never mind. I think that's a... If, if we're going with Storm Winds being banned, then I think we can bring the Link back. So actually, it's a real change. Okay, all right, you have in fact uh, voted for that being a real change. So that is locked in yeah, now? Yeah, locked in, yeah. Okay, uh, uh, perfection is the fucking level four that quick normals itself. <laughs>
Duel, and uh, as we all know, Master Duel is a good insight into what's on Konami's mind right now. Between Albaz and Alaba, who bottoms? Well, that's an interesting lore question, so... In yeah, you're the lore fusion, expert, so I figured both, you'd know. They both turn into Alba Lanatus, but considering that uh, it's always very clear that Lubellion is the dominant personality, uh, mm -hmm, Al mm -hmm. Albaz is definitely the bottom in that relationship. Okay, so Albaz is the bottom. That's really interesting, because Pankratops... Go on. He's at two. Yeah, but what was the joke, though? He's just at two. I don't know why, I don't know why there needs to be a joke about it. Uh, okay, Pankratops at two. Um, didn't we just get him back to three? That's the Master Duel ban list. Okay, that's why they did that. Um, yeah, sure. I mean, I think Pankratops is cool and good and fine, and I think we can have him back. So if we're going to quarantine him, then we might as well do that. Well, so. someone gave that joke a 3 out of 10, and then someone gave it a 15 out of 10. Um, but you said it wasn't a joke, so why are they rating it? I don't know. I think they just like Pankratops. That's true. I think, I think is, Pankratops does deserve a 15 out of 10. Anyway, uh, mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and go on record to say that's a real change. Okay, okay. I'm getting a little, uh, tired, right? Uh-huh. I think I might need to relax. I'm gonna go outside, and I'm gonna take a nice little doze right under the sun in my infernity lawn chair. God, um... <laughs> Come on, that one was good. Uh, I'll let chat decide what that is. They're the one with the rating system. Anyway, uh, I think that's a fake one. Uh, that's just kind of like a fan one that people want to get back, but I don't think Konami really cares about it. So, Lawn Chair to 2 uh, is just... Not because it doesn't deserve to be back, it's just that they don't care to do it. Let's go to the Unlimits. Alrighty! So, I'm the VTuber, right? Yeah. So, I'm like a virtual anime character. I'm, go I'm going along with you on this one. And where do people like to put anime characters? Uh, I can't answer that on a video. They like to put them in jars. Yeah, I And I'm virtual, which means I would go in the cyber jar. Yeah, I think I think that's the whole quarantine thing. No, but they didn't put it to two first. I mean, they don't always do that. That's fair, right? that's fair. Um, let's go ahead, yeah, cyber jar didn't do anything, it's not gonna do anything. I think it's fine uh, yes. to bring it back to three. It's perfectly fine at three, let's be real. Yeah, so I think Like, maybe a couple of people will get rolled by it and it's kind of funny, but, like, other than that, it's like a haha -ha funny. And you know what else is, like, a, a, a really, really heckin' joker? Uh, what is it? Uh, trying to pronounce... True King Lithosigem. Uh, it's Lithosigem? Come on. It's, it's not that difficult, folks. You're a Lithot. Yeah, don't you forget it. Um, so that coming back to three, we had that at one for a bit. That was another one of those, like... It was, like, forever limited. Quarantine changes. Um, we are getting a lot of dinosaur stuff back, and boy howdy would I hate for Lithosigem to be widely available in new dino format. Um, I'm going to say that's a faker. Uh, I found you faker. That is not a real change. Um, so it is that time of year, right? Uh-huh. It's that, actually, it's that time in the cycle. You know, this happens every once in a while. We're not quite sure why the universe works this way, but it just happens. Uh, Destiny Hero Malicious is back at three. Oh, no. You know, no! Just every once in a while. I thought we He just flips between. <laughs> I still think at some point they should put him to one as a comedy bit. That would be the funniest thing, and they definitely should do that. Uh, but, uh, but no. Yeah, we're, we're at no, the time of the year, fake. and Malicious is at three. That's fake. I don't care. Uh, oh, they've never put him to three before. That's true. They have done it, but I don't care. I don't want him to do it again. It's fake. It's not a real change. I'm, I'm, I'm having fun. This stream's great. Stream is Salaman great gazelle. Uh, sure. I want I I I want Shiggy to be happy. Let's bring it back to three. You know what? That's a good um. That's a good reason. All yeah. right. Jet Synchron to three. I still think Jet Synchron is fine at one where it is. I don't think they need to be giving us any more of that one. I think that's a. I've been saying fake for these past few ones. Should I mix it up? Let's just also say that that's a fake change. I don't see the reason to bring back more of those things. It's 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 fine the way it is. It gets really bad if you keep 
bringing more things like that that can revive and start right. using discard outlets. So I think that's a fake change. All right, that's f that's fake. That's uh, that's fair. Maca Phantom Beast O Lion. Uh, that's actually even worse than Jet Synchron, actually. So, um, it'd be interesting if somehow they coordinated two fake vote, two fake changes. Um, it, it's, pro yeah, it's never probably happens. that it's now that we've done this, it's probably real. Um, but I'm not going to change my answer because of that. I'm going to be stubborn. I'm going to stay the course. This is also a fake change. So, so like, do you have any like? preferred french pastries um i do like me a good croissant a good croissant a good okay. croissant croissant yeah i like I, li I like to have a nice croissant a croissant croissant uh and yeah this it's it's an interesting word because like um it's hard to fit that into a poem but i actually came up with one i went to the shop to buy a croissant because oh. they just put to three the Lost Dragons for song. What the hell did you just say? Uh, Dressed the Lost Dragons for song, <laughs> or frizzin. This is what happens How... when you talk like a Koseyoko. Is frizzin a real character. fucking word? Frisian, yeah. Why are they bringing back all of the grave tuners? What the hell happened? What I just, change I'm... could they possibly have done to make them feel like they can bring back? All those problem monsters. I know how well, they banned Chaos Ruler, so it's fine. They banned it last time. Yes, yeah, so it's fine. No, uh, I guess it's the same as the other ones. I'm calling it fake because I don't want these things to be brought back any more than they already are. I'm gonna need um, MBT to help me on this one. We've had a lot of really hard to pronounce cards. Uh, I believe you know, and I trust him. He always pronounces cards in the most correct way possible. Uh, Lyrilus Gressidal Starling. Um, sure. Uh, we had that at two last time, right? It's, yeah, it was at two. Yeah, so we can bring that to three. We can bring back Recital Starling. Servant of Endymion is at three. Um, sure, I guess. That's fine. Is I it, though? Uh, it's, no, I mean, no. Like, I would hate it. I despise every Endymion deck ever made, but mm, mm, uh, mm, as long mm, as they're mm, not bringing mm, back mm, Electromite, then I'm mm, fine. Mm, mm. Mm, mm, Draco face off. Mm, mm. Okay, it's actually been way too long for that thing to have been like hit at all. I think that's a real change. Yatagarasu. Yeah. Also, a thing that didn't do anything, so we can move it to three. Nah, but like, it's it, it's it's it was meta. It was meta. It was. You're right. It was. And that that's the unlimited monsters. It, you know, it really sucks that you'd resort to such low hanging fruit. Uh huh. It's that not you like would you spiral set it up resort anything. to such low hanging fruit. Shut up! Shut spiral up! Shut up! Okay, so, um. This is a weird pick because Spiral is pretty good. Would Spiral be good now if we brought back Resort? Maybe. It protects all their cards and gives them free it, searches. It would definitely be better. Uh, it's pretty. Mosquito, but do we want to let them have that? Because it's also just a huge consistency boost. I believe, like, what are the um, current hits? Like, Master Plan is banned. Uh, Quick Fix is at one, I think. Yeah, un until I think those uh, are the only hits. Until we finish this, and then you're like, okay, Master Plan to three. <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine if I skipped over a monster? That'd be funny. Yeah, could you imagine you lying to me? Sure. Uh, real change. Resort to three. Um,. We didn't change anything else about it as far as I'm aware, so let's bring it back. Okay. I'll have to say Nova. That was fun. But we've gone through everything. That's, That's the whole it. list? Ugh, That's the right. blindfold. That's the banfold blind list challenge. Oh god, the lights, they're so bright. Uh anyway, so uh thank you for joining me, Sarah. Uh, I appreciate your hijinks. Uh where can all these uh, all these fools find you in the future? You can do a quick shout out Sarah Hyde in the, in the chat and it will give them a straight up link to my channel. Oh, you appear to have done that. Wow, crazy. But wow. yes, you can find me over at uh, twitch.tv forward slash Sarah Hyde. And you can also find me on my Twitter where I post epic funny uh, posts uh, at the at Axolotl Sarah as posted by Scenario in the Twitch chat. Very helpful boy there. All right, this has gone on long enough. Uh, I am now launching Sarah out of the airlock. Say goodbye to Sarah, everyone. 
Goodbye to Sarah, everyone. I got a chung, I got a big, big chungus, big chungus, big chungus, big, big chungus, big chungus, big chungus.